Hello and welcome to this how to do video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can handle your temperature data with the software PixConnect and how you can export your temperature data to other programs like Excel or your own program software. Let's have a look how it works. On my right side I have a heating plate with some probes, with some plastic probes and one magnetic probes and I want to measure the temperatures of all the surfaces of the probes. Let's have a look to the PixConnect software, how it works. You can see in the PixConnect software that I created three measure areas, plastic, magnetic and the ABS measure area. And you can also see on the right side that I can see the temperature information at the digital temperature group. To show a temperature time diagram, you can go to the menu point View, Windows and to the menu point Temperature Time Diagram. Alternative, you can also use the icon at the icon bar by clicking on the Temperature Time Diagram icon. If you click on it, you can see the temperature time diagram and you can see now immediately all three measure areas. You can also see that the temperatures are changing if I put my hand between. And all these temperature time diagram informations will be recorded right now. You can save the temperature time diagram if you go to the menu point File and save temperature time diagram data. Now you can choose your own file name, for example, temperature time diagram, and you can save it. You can also do some settings. If you're going to the configuration menu via tools, configuration. You can go to the tab temperature time diagram and here you can do some settings regarding the temperature time diagram. So you can choose the color, you can choose the pen width and you can also choose some other diagram measuring settings by clicking on the button on the right side. Here you can decide the maximum data count and also the time which you want to record it. Let's have a look to the exported data. If you have saved the file, you can go to the Explorer and you can open the file with, for example, Excel, Microsoft Excel. You can see immediately that you have a ready formatted file where you can see the time in the column. You can see all our objects, the magnetic, the plastic and the ABS object in a column. So you have all temperature information in one file. You can also use your own program software. If I click to open with, for example, the editor, you can see that you have here also a ready formatted file where you can see all columns of the time and all columns of your objects. In our next experiment, I'm going to show you how you can export your temperature data as a 3D graph in Excel. Let's have a look to the PixConnect software again. You can see I put my fingers under the camera and I'm going to have a snapshot by clicking on the snapshot icon. Now I can save the snapshot, for example, with the file name hand. And I go now to the Explorer, to my folder, to my file hand and I open it with, with Microsoft Excel. So now you can see immediately the whole, the complete matrix of all temperature data of the image. So I can mark now some lines. 
for example, 200 lines and I go to create a diagram. I'm choosing here in Microsoft Excel a shape diagram and I go to OK. And now you can see that I have my 3D graph with two of my fingers because I selected only 234 lines and Microsoft Excel is creating your the 3D file. You can also use your own software program to import the complete matrix of all temperature data of the image and to program with it and to have your own image in your own software.